Detecting and fixing errors in your Stripe integration typically involves many disparate tools. You often need to switch between your dashboard, the docs, and the CLI window as you debug your integration. Workbench streamlines this process by centralizing all these tools into one location in the dashboard. Let's see Workbench in action. First thing to notice is that Workbench requires no installation. You can simply access it by navigating to the link in the description below. Also, Workbench is organized by tabs, with each of them serving a different purpose. We'll take a closer look at those in a bit. So, let's start with the Overview tab. This one shows useful information about your overall integration. So things such as API keys, activity trends in your integration, and recent errors. Here's an example using invoicing. In the Overview tab, you get a general idea of what happened, but let's switch to the Errors tab for a closer look. This tab shows more details about what exactly happened. So here we see that the integration tried to create an invoice without a customer object, and that triggered a parameter missing error. Now that we've identified an error, let's try to fix it. We do this by switching to the Shell tab, and we see that this has two features, the Stripe Shell and the API Explorer. So the API Explorer allows you to navigate through all of Stripe's endpoints and run commands. The parameter missing error that we saw earlier told us that we needed a customer object. So let's start by retrieving one. We do this by going to the Stripe shell and running Stripe customers list. And then when we expand the results, we are able to copy a customer ID. Now let's find the invoice object in the API Explorer and choose the create option. Let's paste the customer ID that we just copied into the customer parameter box. As we do that, we notice that the shell is simultaneously being populated with the command from the API Explorer. We can also print the SDK request in the language of our choosing. Now let's run the command. We see that it succeeds this time and our invoice was created. To verify that, let's switch to the inspector tab and look at it. Here, we're able to see a JSON representation of our invoice along with its related object, which is the customer in our case. So there you have it. Using Workbench, you can monitor your integration for errors, fix them, and then check your fixes, all without leaving your Stripe dashboard. For more content, check out strap.dev. I'm David, and I'll see you next time.